I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Green the Planet 2. This is like a mobile idol game, um, mixed with a little bit of turret shooting. It's uh, this interesting little game where basically you have a planet, and you want to make it green, as you might suspect from the name. And so what you do is you have this little laser turret, or not always lasers, it's a bunch of different weapons, and you just want to shoot down the comets and get all the comet stuff. And obviously, as everyone knows, comet stuff can be repurposed for the greening of planets. So there's a bunch of different weapons here. I, I put this icon in a bad spot, didn't I? There we go. A bunch of different weapons you can use. There's multiple different ways you can upgrade your weapons. You can upgrade um, as an idle game. It has this little idle you know, collector thing that you can have. And you can actually have multiple of them. Um, the game isn't super idle, and you kind of need to pop in every few, every once in a while, if you want to uh, really progress quite a lot. You can only get so much from the collector. Like, you can only get like 13 million, which initially is a lot. But uh, the point I'm at, I have 8, what is that, 8 billion. Um, so yeah, 13 million, waiting for 13 million isn't really too impressive. But um, you can upgrade how often you get comets, that's what this does. Um, it's mostly upgrading the weapon and trying out all the different silly guns we have that's fun. Um, what's a fun one? Um, let's show you one of the charger ones. Oh, this one's fun too. So this one's like a like laser missile thing. Sorry for the bad audio, by the way. Uh, this game doesn't have cloud save, so I have to record this directly off my phone instead of... I usually record on my PC, but yeah. Um, this game also has some really lovely pixel art. You might have noticed the... Uh, this is what this is my favorite background in the game, but there's some other really cool stuff you can see. Um, every time you green a planet, which, by the way, resources do everything. Um, up resources upgrade the planet, resources... There's only one resource. There's no in-app purchases in this game. There's, there are ads, which are pretty important, especially late game. Um... But you can play without them if you really want to. But uh, as you would expect, they speed things up. You're never really forced to watch an ad either. You you have to see the little banner ads up at like the top there. Um, but it's not like one of those games that like plays a video ad every time you like open a menu or anything like that. You'll never be forced to. Uh, so it, it's pretty chill in every regards. It's it's got chill music. It's got chill gameplay. Uh, it's got chill progression, and it even has a chill ad policy, which is always nice. Um, there is no way to pay for there to not be ads, but, uh, oh well, the ads aren't super obtrusive, so I can't complain too much on that front. Um, one of the cooler things you can do is you upgrade, in addition to upgrading your weapon to just deal more damage, you can also have, you can upgrade the unit, which, um, means you can have, uh... Let's let's upgrade to missiles so I can show you that a bit better. I think missiles are number two. Uh, there we go. For each unit you have, it's like it basically means turret. You get more shots. The names I think I don't think the developers are native English speakers. It doesn't really get in the way too much. You don't. There's not a lot of text in the game. You're kind of seeing most of what there is, but. Um, it does have, uh, oh, one fun thing it has, it has a library of all of the stuff that you shoot down. Like, you shoot down spiral stones. You get these from, like, wacky spiral, um, comments. There's a whole bunch of different crap you get, and it's all, it's mostly recycled stuff from, like, you know, seashells, orange peels from, like, intelligent species. And you grind all that down, and it's fun to go through and read all the new, all the little bits and bits about all the stuff. And sometimes there's little jokes in there and other stuff like that. You can also you can share little gifts of like let's see what this one was. Um, they're usually like your last like meteor shower that you dealt with. Oh, this is like a this is actually a different thing. This is sometimes when you watch an ad, you'll get a rain of those little tiny comets that they're basically free money. As you can see, each one is worth like a million, which is just because I progressed that far. But uh, they're valuable in general. Let's see if we can find a good show of a comet stream. There we go. I'm actually not doing much damage on this video, but you can kind of see how my last thing went. 
Um, you can also see all of the planets that you've, you know, greened, so to speak. And uh, it shows you the little time lapse of, you know, and then a bunch of little extra flowers pop up. And there's buttons you can share that or share a screenshot for uh, whatever. You can also fuse the different weapon types. There's 21 weapon types in total. Um, I would say about half of them aren't really that good, but the other half are pretty fun. I'm partial to the laser. The laser is really, like, simple and effective, and it's hard to top it, but I kind of use other things just for variety. It's really fun with the max level unit. You can just const have constantly firing lasers. Also, you, you can notice I have multiple of these little collector things. At a, at a certain point, you can buy multiple ones, and they'll, they'll arrive bit by bit. And so that's, that's pretty much what you do. Um... Real quick, I'm going to skip the ad for you, you know, of course, but I'll, we'll show you what happens when you watch an ad. Alright, so watching that... Oh, we got a meteor shower. That's uh, it's actually not the result I wanted. Um, that's the thing that rains down free money. Uh, free money is nice, but uh, I wanted the one that... You can get one that sh that sheds a bunch of uh, huge comets that you have to shoot down with your laser. These are a little... Less impressive, but uh, still nice. In fact, the little tiny comets will actually eventually yield a lot more money than a big comet stream. Uh, and the way the game works, the game... The comets kind of get progressively harder as you stay on a planet. So what you're supposed to do is keep greening the planet. And eventually, once you hit 100%, 100%, there you go. You actually get a refund for all the money you spent on the turret, so you can try new turrets. Like, every every world, you get to reinvest all of your turret money. It's never, like, consumed, which is nice. And this game is just kind of a constant progress game, like pretty much all idle games really are, right? But it's always fun to sort of wrap things up on a planet. You go to another one. Um... Like I said, the comet timers reset, or the, like, health resets, so it's a lot easier to shoot down comets on a brand new world, and eventually it gets harder and harder. It, the game just tries to keep you moving, because it's not, it's not shoot the comets to, it's green the planet, so you gotta green some planets. As you can see, you, you grow more and more grass as you go on. The percentage system is oddly a lie. Um, the first 50% costs, like, 1% relative to the last 50%, it's really weird. It's like exponential increase in cost. But um, that's pretty much, well, let's get a weapon. Uh, what's something fun? I'll show you a charge weapon. My favorite of the charge weapons is this completely ludicrously excessive laser. I think I went overboard in buying. Yeah, I can't buy the auto launcher now. <laughs> um, but oh well. If you make a purchasing mistake like that on the gun, because the gun can get really expensive, as you just saw there, you can just green the planet, and then you'll be able to, you know, reinvest, like I said. <laughs> but I love the completely excessive nature. You can't see my thumb, but I you just direct everything with your thumb. You, you swipe to pick up the stuff. You just point at what you want to shoot with the turret. It's nice, fun, and it's kind of interesting that they managed to in incorporate, you know, turret combat to what I would call a non-violent game. You know, you're just blowing away comets, but it's still really fun. Um, I like the rainbow -y effects for the lasers, too. The lasers are definitely my favorite weapons in general. And there's there's 21 different weapons. I want to show you. Actually, I have a video that shows you all of them already. Um, it's just, like, search, like, green the planet, all weapons, or something like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I've found this really fun. It, um, it's kind of one of those simple games. You just want to... It's good for that mobile niche of, you know, you play it for a few minutes, waiting for your bus or whatever, and, um, you know, it, it's just something to occupy your time, calm you down, whatever. In case you might be hiding in a basement because of a freaking tornado drill. I don't see no tornado out there. It's not even raining. I don't know. I think they jumped the gun a bit. But hey, not dying in tornado is always fun, so I'm down here. Isn't that right, Parker? That's right. You have crap on your whiskers! He loves the basement. It's awful. He, he, there's all kinds of dirt for him to get all over his fur. It's great. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? 
Anyway, that is Green the Planet 2. It's, um... I would say, if you don't like it after a, a couple days, you'll probably know it's not for you. It's just... It doesn't get too crazy beyond what you've seen here, even. Uh, this is... A week or two of progress, I think. I've been playing... I played it before and lost my progress. That is my biggest complaint. This does not have cloud saves. So... Yeah, I find that to be a big problem. Um... But yeah, that's Green the Planet, if you want to Green the Planet. I think this is only on Android, by the way, which is a little bit strange, but uh, oh well. So yeah, if you want to play it on Android phone, there'll be a link in the description, which there always is. So uh, check it out if you like that. I think that was a second. Maybe that was our actual Tornado Siren, because I heard another one, but uh, whatever. Hopefully I won't die. Uh, I hope you all don't die, too. Have fun.